Hello, my name is Cameron Popal and this is Dr. Sadaf. I'm going to perform a knee examination on Dr. Sadaf today uh, and just watch and enjoy. Hello. Hello. My name is Cameron. I'm one of the junior doctors in this department. Is uh, it all right if I call you Sadaf? Yes. All right. So Sadaf, I understand that you had a fall recently. I'm so sorry about that. And I understand you've got some pain in one of your knees? Yes, this one. Oh, it's the right one. All right. Uh, so, to start the examination, I'd just let, uh, I'd like to let you know that I'd be coming close to you, be touching you as well, doing some special tests, okay? And if you feel any discomfort or pain, please let me know and I'll stop right there, okay? So the first thing that I want you to do is, can you please stand up for me? All right. Now it's a bit painful. Uh, all right, can you just walk a few steps for me? Okay, okay, that's fine. You can relax now. You can relax. All right, so the gait of my patient is antalgic. All right, can you please turn towards me? Sorry about that. I just need to have a quick look at your knees, all right? I can appreciate that the anterior superior iliac spine, the knees, and the ankles are at the same level. There's no discharge, redness, swelling, scar marks, sinuses, any bony deformity or muscle wasting on either side. All right, I'll be going behind your back now. I cannot appreciate any popliteal fullness or any other muscular uh, uh, muscle wasting or bony deformity or any other signs uh, of abnormalities. All right. Thank you very much for that. Uh, I would now ask you to lie down if you don't mind. Ideally, we would like the patient to be properly exposed. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly touch your knees, all right? I cannot appreciate any localized rise in temperature. Now I'm going to touch a bit deeply. Due to time constraints, I'm going to only uh, examine the affected side, but ideally, in real life, I would be doing it from the unaffected side and then coming to the affected side. Okay, so it was your right knee, wasn't it? So let me know when you feel any pain. Oh. I'm so sorry about that. So I can appreciate that my patient has pain on the medial aspects of the right knee. Dr. Sadaf, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to perform some special tests on you. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the first test that I'm going to do is the patella grind test. All right. Any pain? Okay, that's perfectly fine. So patella grind test is negative. Now what I'm going to do is the patella tap test, all right? The patella tap test is also negative. That's perfectly fine. Now I'm going to perform a couple of other tests. The first test that I'm going to perform on you before... Uh, anything else is to look if you're moving fine so let's go on and perform the movements on your legs all right so can you please move both your legs uh, bend both your legs as far as you can okay that's fine can you let them go now all right thank you very much so I could see that on flexion there was some restricted movement on the right side but the left was normal and the extension is normal on both sides. Now I'm going to perform a couple of tests. Uh, the first one, can you please bend your right knee? This is to check for the anterior and posterior cruciate ligaments. And this is called the anterior and posterior draw test. So I'm going to pull this towards me. Please let me know if you feel any pain. All right, so the anterior and posterior draw tests are negative in my patient. Thank you very much for that. So there's no 
problem with the anterior and posterior cruciate ligaments. Alright, now what I'm going to do is a test called the valgus test and then I'm going to perform the varus test. Oh. I'm so sorry about that. Do you feel pain? Oh. oh, I'm so sorry about that. So valgus test is positive in my patient, which is for the medial collateral ligament. I'm now going to perform the varus test. Please let me know if you feel any pain. Okay, so the lateral collateral ligament is perfectly fine. So now I'm going to perform another test for your menisci, the lateral and the medial menisci. All right, so we're going to bring this to 90 degrees and I'm going to... Oh. I'm so sorry about that. I'm going to bring it down. This is paining. Yes. I'm so sorry about that. I'll just let it go. All right, so this was the McMurray's test and this is positive for the medial meniscus because I had tilted the heel towards the medial side. Now I'm going to perform it for the lateral meniscus by shifting the heel towards the lateral side. Any pain? No. All right, thank you very much. I'm gonna have a quick feel of your pulses, which are present. Can you please wiggle your toes for me? Okay, thank you very much for your time and examination. And uh, now I'd like to talk to my audience. Okay, so this was a knee examination. There were five major tests that we did. The first one being the patella grind test, then the patella tap test, and then tests for the anterior cruciate ligament, the posterior cruciate ligament, which was the anterior and posterior draw test. Then we performed a test for the medial and lateral collateral ligaments, uh, which was the valgus and the varus test. And we performed the McMurray's test for the lateral and medial menisci. And the positive findings that Dr. Southerf gave me was positive for valgus test, which is positive for the medial, uh, uh, medial collateral ligament and positive McMurray test when the heel was towards the medial side, which is also uh, positive for medial menisci injury. So the diagnosis in this certain case would be a medial meniscal injury with a medial collateral ligament injury. In this certain case, I would go ahead, perform an x-ray, give my patient some analgesia and refer to the orthopedics. Thank you very much. I hope you've enjoyed the video and learned from it. Thank you.